If you are new to golf, should you take lessons? A viewer recently asked me this question, and I plan to answer that in this video. Hi, I'm Eric with Pursuit for Par. John Galt, 5205, he's moving to a new house in Florida that's on a golf course. He's never golfed before and wants to take up the game. Should he take lessons? That was a situation I was in when I took up the game in my 30s. I'd never played before, and no one in my family golfed. I just went out to the range and hit balls, tried to learn from the internet and didn't take lessons for a few years, and I wish I had started off with lessons much sooner than I did. You'll want to take a lesson to learn some basic stuff such as grip. For example, there's many different ways you can hold the club. Baseball, overlap, Varnden, etc. But a poor grip can lead to a poor swing and cause you issues. They also help you with your stance. For example, too narrow and it becomes easy to lose your balance too wide and it's hard to make a good swing. Make sure you're upfront with the pro or the coach that you plan on working with, that you're new to the game and you just want to learn the basics. That way they know how to gear the teaching to your situation. Talk to them, that's what they're there for. They should be very supportive and know how to get you going. A great place to start if you can find it would be a beginner's clinic. A beginner's clinic will probably span a few weeks and it might be one hour a week in the evening and the pro and their helpers will be there with a group of other golfers. They'll go through the basics, what you need to work on, et cetera, and you'll get feedback. And it's a very relaxed environment. There's no pressure. You're just there to learn. And since it's other beginners as well, there's no reason to be embarrassed if you start duffing the ball all over the place. That's to be expected when you're new. There are times even now where people will be out there, they've been playing for years and they whiff. Um, it's embarrassing to hit an air ball, as some people call it. Um, but it does happen. I mean, you make a swing and you just miss. So at first, all you're really looking for as a new golfer is a very basic lesson, how to hold the club, how should you stand and address the ball, and how to make small swings. You don't want to go out of the gate trying to wail away on a driver with a full swing. Learn with some smaller swings to get the hang of it as you're out there on the course. Patrick Harrington has a couple videos about the grip and other things that I think would help a beginner, and I'll put links to those in the description below. If you've never golfed before, you can also check with the person you plan on taking lessons with if they will actually provide a club for you to use during that lesson. Most should, but it's worth checking out beforehand. You don't necessarily need to go out and buy a club or a set of clubs to go take a lesson, especially since you don't know if you like the game or not. You want to spend as little as possible up front. After your lesson, I would recommend spending as much time on the range as you can, working on what the pro showed you about your grip and your stance and the ball position, and then just work on taking small swings and hitting the ball. And just keep it simple, because once you have the basics down with a shorter shot, it will transfer into your long game. Leave out any other questions in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Now this isn't related to the lessons per se, but if you are starting out and you're looking for clubs, used clubs are probably a good option. You can probably find those at some place like Play It Again Sports or other places. You don't need to go out and get fit for clubs right away if you don't know, if you even like the game. Courses, that you want to play at may even rent clubs that's a good option as well you'll pay a little more but it's not that expensive compared to actually going out and buying clubs consider subscribing if you found this video useful as well a book i would recommend for almost every golfer would be john sherman's the four foundations of golf he doesn't cover the swing it's about how to practice how to set your expectations and things to consider when you're actually out on the course playing the game. It's something I wish had been published back in the early 2000s when I first started playing the game.